Have you ever wondered where NASA's first colony on Mars might be located? Well, get ready for an exciting revelation. After years of research and exploration, NASA has finally pinpointed the perfect spot for humanity's future home on the Red Planet. This location offers not just safety and resources, but also tantalizing hints of Mars' ancient past. Stay tuned as we unveil this groundbreaking discovery. Imagine an alien world so vast that it's almost beyond what we can imagine. Picture canyons so deep and mountains so high that you could see them from space. Somewhere in the midst of all this lies humanity's next big adventure, a second home far away from Earth. Valles Marineris is not just any canyon. It's the largest in the entire solar system, a massive scar across Mars' equator that you can spot from orbit. Its name comes from NASA's Mariner 9 probe, which first orbited Mars in 1972. Mariner 9 gave us our first detailed look at Mars, mapping out around 70% of the planet's surface and discovering the deepest valleys and tallest peaks in our solar system. This canyon network is a mind-blowing 4,000 kilometers long from east to west, roughly the same as the width of the continental United States. It can stretch up to 600 kilometers wide and plunge to depths of seven kilometers. The canyon walls expose layers of rock in different colors and types, giving us a glimpse into Mars's ancient geological past. Valles Marineris's floor is a fascinating mix of geological formations, including landslides, debris flows, and sedimentary deposits. It's a different Martian landscape than what we're used to seeing from our rovers, because those are designed to land and drive on flat, safe terrain. But when we're ready to send people and big equipment to Mars, Valles Marineris is where the real adventure begins. Valles Marineris is like a bridge between two totally different parts of Mars. To the west, you've got the Tharsis region, known for its massive volcanoes. And to the east, there's the chaotic terrain, a strange landscape unique to Mars. Now, this chaotic terrain is wild. Picture jumbled, broken rocks everywhere with big blocks of mess all over the place. The whole area looks like a giant puzzle that's been thrown around. Scientists are still figuring out how this chaotic terrain formed. One idea is that it could be from the collapse of underground material, maybe because of water or ice disappearing. This collapse could happen slowly over time or suddenly because of something like an impact or even Mars quakes. Now, head over to the Tharsis region, where Mars's big volcanoes are. These volcanoes aren't like any on Earth. They're massive, with Olympus Mons being the biggest volcano in the whole solar system. These volcanoes are so huge that you can see them from space. In between the chaotic terrain and the canyons, there's a region called Noctis Labyrinthus, which means Labyrinth of the Night. This place is like a maze of canyons and valleys, likely formed by a mix of tectonic, volcanic, and erosion forces related to the nearby Tharsis volcanoes. Imagine this, a hidden secret on Mars, only uncovered in March 2024 by planetary scientists. They stumbled upon a massive, worn-down shield volcano called Noctis Mons, standing over nine kilometers tall and stretching 450 kilometers wide. This volcano, nestled where Noctis Labyrinthus meets Valles Marineris, has been quietly active for eons, shaping the landscape we see today. What's fascinating is what lies around Noctis Mons. Researchers found a sprawling 5,000 square kilometer area of volcanic deposits encircling the volcano. This area is believed to be a field of rootless cones, created when hot volcanic material meets ice or water, causing explosive steam venting. This suggests that underneath the rocky surface, there could be a massive sheet of glacier ice. Picture this, a glacier that's six kilometers long, four kilometers wide, and two kilometers thick, hidden just beneath the surface. This discovery is a game changer for future Martian colonies. Water is essential for life, and having easy access to a substantial amount of water ice could make settling on Mars much more feasible. Until now, Mars's ice has mostly been found at its poles, which are harsh and inhospitable. But here, near the equator, where temperatures can reach a pleasant 20 the C, finding a glacier could provide a vital resource for potential settlers. Instead of struggling to extract water from the dry soil, they could tap into this subsurface glacier, 
offering a more sustainable water source for a future Martian colony. So, Noctis Mons isn't just a mountain, it's a beacon of hope for the future of Martian exploration and colonization, offering a glimpse into a more sustainable way of living on the Red Planet. The discovery of Noctis Mons and the potential subsurface glacier in Noctis Labyrinthus on Mars could offer more than just a water source for future colonists. It could also provide valuable insights into the planet's past, including the possibility of finding evidence of ancient life. The interaction between lava and ice over a long period in this volcanic region could have created the perfect conditions for simple bacterial life to thrive if it ever existed on Mars. So, exploring this area could be like searching for Martian fossils, giving us clues about the planet's biological history. Moreover, setting up a colony inside a canyon on Mars has practical advantages. The deeper you go into the canyon, the higher the atmospheric pressure becomes. Mars's surface pressure is about 150 times less than Earth's sea level pressure, which is a major factor in Mars' inhospitability. But at the bottom of these canyons, the pressure would be closer to 90 times less than Earth's, which is still not ideal, but more manageable. The denser atmosphere in the canyon would also provide better protection from cosmic radiation. While it wouldn't eliminate the risk, it would reduce exposure to these harmful particles. Additionally, being in a canyon offers more protection from physical dangers like meteorites. The width of the canyon would influence how much protection it provides from space debris, but any added protection is a plus. However, despite these advantages, Mars remains a harsh environment that likely extinguished any natural life long ago. Yet, it's currently our best bet for a second home in the solar system, at least until we can reach more distant worlds like Saturn's moon, Titan. What do you think about NASA's chosen location for the first Mars colony? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it, and subscribe to Fact Epics for more fascinating updates on space exploration. Thanks for watching.